Let's get lost tonight You could be my black Kate Moss tonight Play secretary on the boss tonight And you don't give a fuck what they all say, right? Hey guys, Saint here, 9 here And this is another vlog from me uh, As you can see, I'm on Iron Tide Eye My main And um, I'm going to chat to you about a few things today Just to run it up We're going to chat about the new clan uh, sigils update I think it's called um, Amy Winehouse uh, that links to the army with me and um no the Norway I think it's Norway um they got bombed and um future runescape updates so clan the clan sigils I think it's called um I'm in a clan and we're already upgrading to tier two but it takes a whole week which is a bit annoying and I can't wait to see what it's like at tier two but it's gonna take us a week. I'll give you. I'll do a video as well if you want, guys, so we can all have a look at what it looks like. Um, <coughs> it's 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 different content. I mean, I'm not over excited about it, but I'm not gonna knock it because at the end of the day, who doesn't want more content? I know people are like, oh, I want it back back. Um, you know, in O eight or O whatever, but at the end of the day, <laughs> it's got to move forward. Like, I wouldn't still be playing if it was back if it was the same as 08 stuff because you'd get fucking bored. I get, I get bored as it is now. Let alone if it was all still 08. Do you know what I mean? Like someone must understand that. Um. So yeah, it's good. Um. You don't need any items on there, which is good unless you want to fight. Because I um. I um, went there and I didn't have a uh hatchet and I was like, oh fuck. Uh, is there a bank on there? And everyone was like, no, but you don't need um, a hatch. Anyway, you just click the tree. And then you pull these roots out. And you have to collect so much. Um, and it keeps the upkeep of your sigil. I think that's what I called. I'm probably saying it completely wrong. Okay, so my next topic is going to be Amy Winehouse. Um, obviously, we've all probably heard that she's died. But there's something that really pisses me off. I mean... I feel for her family because she's dead, but at the end of the day, the amount of publicity celebrities get for fucking dying is ridiculous. At the end of the day, we got people in the army dying fucking every few days. You know, you get three people dying at once, what do they get? They don't even get fucking front page news. If I owned a newspaper, I wouldn't give a fuck. If, if a celebrity died or if someone in the army died, I would put the person on the army on the front page because at the end of the day they deserve the fucking respect and it really pisses me off I got um, a cousin her boyfriend he's in the army and she and I and she worries every single fucking day and at the end of the day someone like Wayne, Amy Winehouse who's addicted to drugs and alcohol dies and everyone's like oh my god there's a fucking shrine outside a house for fuck's sake do you know what I mean? It's more important things to care about than a singer. That's all she was, a singer. What has she done for anyone? Just sung a song and, oh yeah, I like that song, so I'm gonna go to her house when she dies and put flowers outside. No. At the end of the day, this country needs to sort itself out. The reason celebrities are so publicised is because of every general person. If we stop, I, I personally don't, but if people stopped having a fucking obsession with fucking singers and that then maybe the army would get the credibility it deserves and that really fucks me off every time someone dies it just makes me want to go to Afghanistan and fight for myself right we'll get off that subject before I fucking put my fist on the screen really winds me up okay um Norway um I'm pretty sure it's Norway that got bombed um by one of their own people <coughs> um I believe his views and um, the reasons he'd done it was because he believes we're being overtaken by Muslims. Um, I obviously don't agree with what he's done or I don't agree that we're being overtake overtaken by Muslims but I believe what he, sh he was trying to get across and I 100% I understand he'd done it in the wrong way etc etc and I'm sorry if I've got any Muslim subscribers but I think what he's trying to say is the governments need to sort themselves out and stop all the bloody mic uh, Im immigration all the immigrants because and I'm 
pretty much every European country suffering from it. Like fucking, I can't, I can't get a job. And people might say, oh yeah, it's actually not trying hard enough. No, it's not. It's because there's no fucking jobs out there. I even, even when I go to a job centre, they look for a job for me. They, like this week, yeah, or last week, I went to a job centre. They said they found one job, but they said you haven't got the requirements for this job, but you have to um, apply for it anyway. So I apply for this job. I haven't heard anything back, but I'm not going to get the job because I haven't got the fucking requirements that the job's looking for. So that's how bad the job situation is. But and we have so many immigrants. And to be to be honest with you, the EU is what fucked everything up. I mean, Turkey's trying to get in the EU, and if Turkey gets in the EU, we're going to have a load of Turks over in England. And at the end of the day, I don't mind this multi multicultural thing. But what I don't want is English people to be suffering to get a job in their own country. That's not how it should be. Turks should be able to get a job in their own country. English should get a job in their own country. Do you know what I mean? It shouldn't be... Someone shouldn't come to England with basically no skills and just do all the shit jobs that even English people need to do. And I know people are like, well, English people don't want to do their own jobs. But we do them. Do you know what I mean? Like people say that, but we actually do the jobs. It just fucks me off, man. <coughs> but yeah, um, that the bombing was wrong and the shooting and everything. That was just fucking bang out. Like you don't do shit like that. Like anyone that's thinking of doing shit like that, that's stupid. The end of the day, it isn't how you solve problems, is it? Alright, um, my next topic's going to be... I want to just quickly talk about the army in general. Um, like, it's sort of, I want to talk about the stick the army get. Like, we, you know, we, at, we blow up a building and unfortunately... A civilian may die, okay? There's always the risk of civilians dying. But, what people don't seem to understand is... The Taliban don't give a shit about their people we do we try not to hurt them we try not to but sometimes it happens but then they say like oh um you know you bombed our building you killed so and so all this shit at the end of the day he could have been a fucking taliban anyway you never know they just put they just hide their guns and then they look like normal people again they need to fucking grow balls if they want to fight Make a fucking army and fight. Don't fucking hide behind your fucking family all the time. And another topic, IEDs. That's uh, it's explosives that are homemade, just in case anyone didn't know. And the Taliban plant it along the floor like fucking cowards. And what I want to say about that is, we fucking lie down, we fucking try and cut these wires and shit to stop that blowing up. And a lot of people die from that, yeah? And... You know, we don't get any credibility for it. At the end of the day, I think we should just fucking put a bit of fucking C4 on that bitch and blow it up ourselves. Yeah, sure, it'll leave a hole in the ground or maybe blow up a wall or, or even break a house. But at the end of the day, they're only fucking mud huts. They're not hard to build. What's more important, building a... What, do you know what I mean? A house or a life? They fucking are soldiers and, and Afghanistan soldiers as well, man. Fucking lie on the floor, diffusing these shitty things, and they blow up and fucking kill them. All because the fucking Taliban have no balls, and Afghan civilians are like, "Oh, you don't care about us." Then we fucking lie down and try and defuse these things. We could just blow them up, which I think we should. At the end of the day, I'd rather fucking blow up a fucking building any day than lose another soldier. Really fucking gets under my skin with this shit. Okay, last thing I want to talk about is future RuneScape updates. Um, I'm still there's still a few dragon weapons that are due out. I'm not sure when they're going to be due out, and I'm not sure how they're going to balance with everything else now. To be honest with you, weapons I think they need to stop letting them in PvP now because they're getting ridiculous. And I know people are like, oh, but it's fun. At the end of the day, Pekin used to be fun but now people just fucking come at you over the fucking rapier or fucking moon it's all overpowered man you can get two hit easy these days 
What's that about? Your HP isn't going higher, but the weapons are. The weapons are getting stronger and that. That's, that's one thing I don't like about this game anymore. It's the way PKM like, goes around now. Shit. It's why I'm, I'm not playing on Ranger at the moment. Because I, I, I'm fucking fighting someone. They put out a fucking... Fucking declaws or something. And sure, I've used declaws in the past. But it doesn't mean I like them. I like using the old whip to DDS, man. It's what, it's what I like. Right, and on that bombshell, Jeremy Clarkson, <laughs> that's for you, Lee. On that bombshell, we end this commentary. Uh, please leave um, comments because I'd like to hear what you all think about these situations. Um, I'm even, like, I, I, I'm very, I guess, patriotic I believe the word is I love my country and I love Englishmen like Englishmen I know how gay that sounds but I fucking love my country and I fucks me off when people die because of fucking Taliban who are too scared to even fight like men fucking cowards hiding behind their families alright uh, thanks for listening guys please comment and subscribe if you haven't done already and let me know if you like these kind of videos alright bye